Aloha, Gwen and Todd. It's Robbie Dean and Ken Heyo. We are here at 53C at Akahi, 1,575 square feet on two levels. Pretty magnificent unit. Um, quite rare, really, to see this much afforded space here at um, Akahi. So just giving you a little tour of your own unit and mentioning some things. Obviously, the landscaping is quite mature and wonderful. I noticed your glass collection. Uh, for 43 years, I've owned a Handmade in America store. So Glass Eye and many, many, many artists. We've sold 500 American crafts people, plus Handmade Canadian works as well. But I've lived here and done real estate on Maui uh, for 18 years now. At any rate, um, nice entry as we're coming in. And very nice tile work with tile base. Love the mahogany railing that's built in and stairway rail. And a lot of light here on the uh, stairs. That's very nice. And I love the step down living room with the granite tops here on the little knee wall. You've got good AC it looks like. It's a real spacious living area. It's really like a home. 1,575 square feet is definitely uh, as big as many homes in South Maui, more on the Kihei side, but even some in Wailea. And multiple outdoor spaces. The definition between the two of the step down is nice. The porcelain tile on the floor in the living room here is a great solution. Set on the uh, bias across the room. And we're gonna give you some feedback as to things that uh, would be good, that could make a difference in presenting it. I would definitely call Stephen Webb and have him take a look at your Satillo outdoor, outdoor tile, and that can be really cleaned up and, and refreshed and then sealed. There's no reason not to do that because that outdoor living space becomes part of the indoor space or the total space, we should say. The color cabinets here are really nice. Those are very lovely. Yeah, that was a great space. And then you've done beautiful glass tile backsplash and buttery bamboo cabinets. Nice neutral granite. The island is very well done. A very open kitchen, open floor plan with a radius counter opening to dining and living area. Porcelain base is nice, doesn't scuff, doesn't bruise compared to wood, no need to paint it. Yeah, the ceiling fans are very nicely done too. So overall, it's a great amount of space and you've got uh, all of your upstairs space as well. And your half bath here too. And even some view for sure from this lower level. You do have the presence of the uh, entry road. We have a client who just bought in Maluhia. We can almost see his house here to the left, just inside the entry. But, um, you know, some sense of view for sure. Asking the uh, la groundskeepers, landscapers to maintain that corridor, maybe cut that bougainvillea, cap it the height that it is now, and maybe the palm fronds. It's, some of it's just shading the building edge to the south. And the coconut palm is trimmed nicely with mostly vertical fronds. That's a good one for you, a good cut. But uh, good to keep that view for sure. The lushness, of course, of Akahi is lovely. So we will do our uh, assessment and look at uh, what's sold and what the competition is and the rarity of this unit. Um, and be back to you with that kind of uh, input. You've got your laundry, it's nicely tucked away here. And glass vessel sink is beautiful, the granite, and then your Koa cabinets as well. And nice fixtures and wonderful window coverings. So it's very tastefully done. The tile here obviously on the stairs is a little older. Um, kind of noticeable, the juxtaposition of the uh, floor tile and then the stairway tile, but it doesn't seem too out of character. The mahogany is quite nice. 
we're always going to give you a truthful assessment and insight. We're not going to sugarcoat anything as I, I know you don't want us to do. I like the resolution of the top of, this, of the railing here on the top of the stairs. It's very artistic and beautiful. Let's see somebody put some time and thought into that. And the larger master suite here. A great amount of space. Architecturally quite interesting. Good view from the bed through the view to the ocean. A lot of light in every direction. Yeah, that's really magnificent, really. It's really a residential space more than a vacation home. Um, very easy that a couple could live here comfortably. And of course, excellent view. And they're trimming that um, Royal Poinciana that's in the distance there. It looks like that's what that is. Everything seems to be maintained pretty well. I did notice some things on the outside of the building that would be AOAO considerations that, you know, there's no reason they shouldn't address the uh, touch-ups here where the paint wasn't right or the mist paint at the top, maybe even the screen door, because if somebody's spending you know, Randy had it at just under two million. Um, the infrastructure ought to be tidied up for sure. So um, I'm not sure if you could prevail upon the powers that be to take care of that. That would be valuable. But the furnishing is consistent and nice. You know, uh, uh, an add to replacing the older tile and base might be a travertine, a sealed travertine or or maybe even the, the uh, porcelain material would look like material that you have on the lower level would be um, a really nice uh, feeling of consistency. But the question is, if you spend that money, can we get that out for you? The tempered bamboo glass is beautiful. And I love the glass tile treatment of it in the uh, master bath here. Good closet space, buttery bamboo cabinets, recessed under mount glass sinks under the ground. It is beautiful. Your waterfall faucets are lovely. Um, it's nice, you guys did a great job. Yeah, so the tile is, you know, a little bit older style compared to higher end today finishes, but it is what it is. And, you know, I'm not sure that we could gain enough value. I love the glass detail around the uh, bamboo and the added light. This allows in here, that's nice. Double shower heads are always exciting. This is nicely set. You kind of gain some room there by setting the toilet in the corner. I usually don't focus on toilets, but nevertheless. And beautiful glass, really good choice of glass, and a good grout color. It's lovely, you guys did a great job here. So moving back around to Second space, and I love the lock off here. Um, from an income point of view, um, possibility of a second uh, second space is interesting, or just even teenage kids or older children or family, older people, older folks on the main part, and they want to have their family or guests and their younger want to come in and not come through the main house. You know all that. Lovely granite here, kind of really understated and. Pond-like, almost pond-like. The pineapple uh, style light fixtures are nice. So the, the tile in the bathrooms, I, mm, I don't know if you ever did replace it or not. The whale is beautiful, the breaching whale and porcelain, I love it. Um, so that's definitely just a little bit feeling of older style. If people were gonna take it to the next level, they would probably take this look and then carry that into the wall surface in there. But again, it's a, it's a decision of, um, you know, is it, can we obviously get the price we want if we do that extra work and we're probably looking at 12 bucks a square foot by the time you buy material and installation. The ACs are good through the wall. It's good, LGs. And then a lot of light, you know, potential to open that up. And of course, your view is excellent. Very satisfying view. 
definitely a little pushback on the presence of the road, but it is what it is, and we can't move um, the road or the unit. But we certainly get a lovely view, and today is a little hazy. Not the clearest, but uh, minimal traffic. Obviously, just the guests, and that's not consistent at all. So, I don't think it's it's not like being up by the P.E. or the Wailea Alanui. So, in that respect, I don't see a real big issue, but a little bit of awareness of the pushback there. Great frog from Frogman. Alrighty, we'll be in touch. Thanks for listening.